Oh boy, what is he going to talk about today? Man, he's such a misogynist. I cannot believe he said that. I cannot believe he put that on his video title. Fellas, <laughs> I'm not a misogynist. Ladies, I'm not a misogynist. <clears throat> just telling you guys how reality works. I'm just a messenger. I'm not talking down on anyone, any guy, any woman, nobody. Just telling you guys how the world works around you. That's it. You can take this information or not. Entirely up to you. The tables turn when she turns 35. Now, it's not necessarily exactly at that age of 35. But it's in her mid-30s, early 30s. What happens is... She hits the wall. Now... A lot of you guys might already know what the wall is. A lot of you guys probably don't know. The wall is something that a woman hits when she starts declining in terms of her looks. When her look starts fading away. That's what we call the wall as men. Yes, men hit that wall too. But again, it goes back to what attracts women to us versus what attracts us to women. The number one thing that attracts any woman to any man is her looks, regardless of how much you want to argue with me on that. Till your face turns blue, till you start foaming out of your mouth, however long you want to argue with me on that, regardless of what you want to say, that is, that is the basic underlying truth. That has been that way ever since humankind have been on this earth. Men were attracted to curvy girls, big front ends, big breasts, uh, good hair, good skin tone, all that. And it goes back to biological imperatives of giving birth to healthier, stronger, good-looking kids. If a woman is healthy, she looks healthy, she has wide hips, curvy hips, big rear end, that means she's, be, she's going to be able to give birth to healthy kid, kids. She's going to be able to carry kids during that nine months period. This is why it's biologically hardwired in us men. This is why we, her college degree, this is why her personality does not turn us on as much as her looks do. Men, on the other hand, are viewed as resources. We, our sexual market, marketplace value go up, goes up when we can provide women more than just our looks, more, with our resources, our money, our security, our time, our energy, all that. Because that, again, it also goes back to the biological imperative. Because back then, when we, had, when we were living through caveman days, women were not the ones to go out and hunt. Women are not the ones to protect themselves and kids uh, from other bar uh, barbarian society, from other men, from other animals. It was men who was protecting women physically, financially. Now, even though we don't have that need today in today's society where we have cops and laws in place and women can go out and be independent and earn their own money, that's still biologically hardwired, hardwired in women. You cannot fight biology. You cannot fight anatomy. You cannot fight nature. You can... Do you can put more laws into play? You can put more um, advertisement, more women empowerment into play to make women do what men are doing. But naturally, your needs, your wants, the things that turn you on, the buttons that turn you on, will never go away, regardless of how much man made artificial things you want to put in your life. That's just the bottom line. So when she is from age 16 to 24, 25, let's just say 28 even, okay? Within that 12-year period from 16 to 28, she has what every man is looking for, her youth. She has the looks. She, her body is tight. Her metabolism hasn't gone down the drain yet. So she can probably get away with eating one box of pizza a day. And she still probably put on, probably won't put on as much weight. Eventually, obviously, it's going to happen if she's just eating crap all day long and not burning it. Eventually, it's going to happen. But I'm talking about, 
I'm talking about if she's 46 or 36 eating a box of pizza a day versus she's 26 or 16 eating a box of pizza a day. Obviously, you guys know that she's going to be able to burn that quicker because of her high metabolism at, an, at a younger age. Now, that doesn't stay forever for them. This is, this is, the, this is the hand they were dealt, dealt with. They were giving all the advantage up front because from 16 to 28, they don't have to do any of the work. All the guys that come in her life, they bombard her with compliments. They, they bombard her with dates, free dates. They want to take her out, do this and that with her. She has too many options during that time period. And she's not having to do anything. Just has to show up. Just has to exist. That's all she has to do. Men, on the other hand, we're not giving anything. We're not giving anything. We have to earn our spot in society, which takes time, which doesn't happen usually from age 16 to 28 in a guy's life. It usually happens in your mid-30s, 35, 36, late 30s, early 40s. That's when we start building money, we start building assets, so we start building power. Power comes with money. All of that takes time. That's when you start, if, we, if you started working out since you were 16 as a guy and you're consistently lifting, by the time you turn, turn 30, 35, 36, for 20 years you've been lifting now, your body is going to be looking like a Greek god's physique. That, again, took time. It took 20 years for your body to look like that. Right? Women don't need to have big arms. They don't need to have big shoulders. They don't need to have a six-pack for men to be attracted to them. All they have to do is have some sort of a rear end, some sort, some sort of good, enough good-looking front end, and the rest of it just comes natural. And even the rear end that I just said, she doesn't even have to work out that much. To get a decent looking rear end. The reason behind that is for birth purposes, again, it's all coming from biology, biological imperative. For birth pur purposes, women's hip bones are curved in. Our hip bones are curved out. This is why if you look at a woman from a side and you look at a man from a side, you'll see man's body is straight up and down. Woman's is curved in and going out. So this is her upper body, comes down, curves in a little bit on her hips, and then goes down. So that extra curve right there is already giving her the impression of her having a nice rear end, which is what men are attracted to. So you can see how they're, how they're uh, physically, have a, how they have the physically upper hand, how they have been given all these advantages ahead of time, all up front. They don't have to work much to keep it. Sorry, they don't have to work much to get it. They have to work to keep it, which is what most of the women are not doing. That's why they just lose it when the turn when the uh, when the time the turns thirty five. Their body just goes down the drain. Some women even say, some girls even say, "Oh, it's the freshman fifteen. The first fifteen pounds you weigh, uh, you gain as you as your freshman because you're going wild and going to parties and drinking this and that." Yeah, it's easier then to lose it all, but not when you're thirty five. <laughs> But as a man, you have, if you've been working out for the past 20 years, if you've been dieting right, I can already promise you it will be grained. It will be scripted on your daily routine. It will be become a habit to keep living that good, healthy lifestyle. Which is why you, you won't even let your body go to crap in the first place. But women don't do that. They don't start building that habit. They don't start building, building that routine into their life from an early age because they don't have to. They, are, they were giving that physical advantage up front. And they don't know. So, and, and they think they're going to have that advantage for the rest of their lives. They don't know. They, they, they're not doing research on um, biology. They're not doing research on health. They're not doing research, okay, what's happening to the body as I'm, as I'm aging? They don't need to do any of that. You know what they're researching on? How many Tinder matches am I going to get? So they're, they're going down their Tinder list, seeing which is the hottest guy on there so they can go talk to him. They're going through her Instagram like list to see who liked her pictures. They're going down her Snapchat view list to see who viewed her Snap stories. <laughs> That's in their head. That's what they're worrying about. So, fellas, do not be discouraged when you get curved right and left. That's the main point of this video. At an, when you're young, from 18 to 30, 
even 31, 32, early 30s, do not get discouraged because some girl didn't want you and she was a good looking woman and you wanted her really bad and she curved you. Don't. Do you know why? Because better times are coming for you. Way better times are coming for you if you were keep doing what you're supposed to, which is grinding and working on yourself, making your life better, getting in a better financial position. I get it that we need to have a woman in our life, long term, medium. Not, I don't, I don't advocate long term relationships, medium term or short term. I get it to take care of her physical needs. The tap, but the type of women you're gonna get, the quality of women you're gonna get, if you have your stuff together, are much better, much higher, versus the type of the quality of women you're gonna get when you're just chasing them and you don't have much to offer to them. Yeah, you're gonna get occasionally one girl or two girl here and there to come over and do stuff with you, have have your fun, off of Tinder or off of approaching hundred girls and getting four girls to come over. You're gonna get that, but what are you losing? You're losing your biggest valuable most valuable asset which is time something you'll never get back this is why i tell you guys to utilize your time money can be earned back respect can be earned back time can never be earned back fellas let them have their fun let them go out to the clubs let them jump from one guy to the next guy to the next guy let them do whatever they're wanting to do fine you want to have your fun keep keep going at it they don't know what dark days are coming ahead of them. But I'm letting you guys know what, what, what's up. Ladies, if you're watching this video, be smart with your choices. I already talked about how to be unique, how to, have, how to live a better life after you get out of college. I already talked about it in my other videos. Go check those out. I'm not going to repeat that here. But fellas, it's a very cruel world and you need to be ready for it. You cannot just be completely vulnerable to every single girl you talk to every single every single girl you and you encounter i get it we have emotions i get it we have feelings so yeah we're gonna be vulnerable at one point or another in our life maybe to a woman maybe to some somebody else in our life but you got to be careful out here fellas these women don't want you for who you are they want you for what you can do for them so make sure you're doing something for them and getting something back in return and just keep it at that. Just keep the relationship at that. Casual like that. Move on to the next one. Hope this video made sense. Again, fellas, do not be discouraged. She thinks that this college life, this party life is always going to last. She has no idea what's coming ahead of us. Ahead of her. When she turns 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. That's when tables turn. That's when the tables turn. Now, some women might come in here and say that, oh, I look great. I'm 40 years old. You're an exception to the rule. The rules don't apply to you. That's fine. That's great. Good for you. Majority of women do not, cannot keep their body in check when they're 35, 40. Because they don't have that discipline. They never had that discipline. If you look at their life, you'll see that their life is undisciplined. If you look at their car, you'll see it's messy. Their room is messy. They, go th they went through college for some worthless degree, got some bunch of student loan debt that they're still having to pay off. They have like a nine to five BS job, like an absolute worthless job, getting paid 20, 30, 40, 50,000 dollars a year. That's nothing. 50,000 dollars a year even is even that is is nothing. And they're still it's something for a single woman just to live off of that. Yeah, but if you look at the bigger picture, that's that's just chump money for some some people. But they're making a career out of their being comfortable with that. Their body looks like crap. They were never disciplined to, uh, to work out and eat healthy in the first place. And even though they make $50,000 a year, they still have consumer debt. Because they're going out there just blowing all this money on useless stuff. Shopping, buying purses, buying new cars, making car payments. Because they don't have that discipline, fellas. That's why I keep telling you guys, you keep working on yourself, build that discipline, build that lifestyle, build that body. So by the time when you're 35, you're 40, now you can attract 20 year olds. Because the ladies, the girls around your age, 35, 40, they're used up, their body's been used up, their, their, their body count is on in the triple digits. They don't have anything going on for themselves and they want you to settle down with them. So that they have, a, they have a secure financial f future coming ahead in front of them. They want to be the burden in your life. You don't want that. Because that's when your fun time starts with the young 20-year-olds.
and her fun times just dies. Give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, stay blessed, stay beautiful, and above all, stay classy.